I've had the Xbox Series S since its launch day back in November 2020 and it's still one of the best next gen consoles you can buy despite some compromises made to keep the price down. So let's look at why I think the Xbox Series S is worth buying. When Microsoft unveiled the Xbox Series S and the Series X, everyone started to compare the two machines. Where the Series X promised 4K gaming with high refresh rates at a cost of £450 in the UK or $500 in the United States, the Series S was much more affordable at just £250 or $300, promising 1440p resolution and 120 frames per second gameplay. With this lower price, there were some sacrifices made to keep the cost down. Even with those sacrifices, which we will cover later on, the Xbox Series S is one of, if not potentially the best next gen console for the casual gamer or those on a tight budget. Why is this? The Series S is a powerful little console as it targets 1440p resolution and is capable of up to 120 frames per second for some buttery smooth gameplay for those of you lucky enough to have a high refresh rate TV or monitor. The Series S also offers upscaling to 4K for those of you running a 4K TV or monitor. Native 4K at 60 frames per second is also achievable on some less demanding titles like Ori, Will and the Wisps. The Series S targets 1440p unlike the more powerful Series X which is targeting the full 4K gameplay experience. For most games, even then, 1440p is still a huge upgrade from 720p and 1080p resolutions of games on last gen consoles like the Xbox One and the One S. However, one of the best things I feel the Series S has over the previous generation consoles is the blazing fast storage SSD and its velocity architecture, which means load times are massively reduced and you can use quick resume to jump in and out of games in mere seconds. When you go back to play on an Xbox One or a PS4, you really, really notice the difference here. And did I mention the Series S hardware is ray tracing capable, which means it can produce amazing lighting and reflection effects in games. We have seen this in Watch Dogs Legion already, and I think we'll see it in more games as developers get to grips with what the machine can do. I cannot wait to see this personally in Minecraft, as I think it will look fantastic. A lot gets made of the Series S not being as powerful as its bigger brother, the Series X, with people saying the Series S won't be able to hit its target resolution of 1440p in more intensive games, which is unfortunately true sometimes. Well, fear not my friends, as the Series S has the full AMD RDNA 2.0 GPU architecture, which will be capable of using AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This is the long awaited answer to Nvidia's DLSS technology. So what does all this mean? Fidelity FX Super Resolution will help boost frames per second, particularly when playing at high resolutions such as 4K or running demanding features in game like ray tracing. AMD claim this can boost the FPS in games up to 2x in performance mode, which is absolutely crazy. As the demo on screen shows, the performance gains can be huge. They are showing Godfall running at 49 frames per second at 4K, going to a whopping 150 frames per second at 4K when using Fidelity FX Super Resolution and Performance Mode. Obviously, the Series S isn't as powerful as the graphics card in the demo, but this will be huge for the Series S allowing it to play more demanding games at higher frames per second. Just imagine a game running at 1440p resolution at 49 frames per second, now being able to run at 1440p at 150 frames per second on the Series S with Fidelity FX Super Resolution enabled. Xbox Series S is the perfect Xbox Game Pass machine. Games Pass comes with over 100 games available for you to download and play so you can experience the best games 
of next gen and previous generations. Game Pass also gives you access to Microsoft's first party games the day they release at no extra cost. So that's games like Halo Infinite, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and Forza Horizon 4. And also several third party games have debuted on the subscription service at the launch day, just like Outriders from Square Enix. So if you want a way to play the newest games with some next gen features compared to last gen consoles, the Xbox Series S is all you need to jump in and start having some fun. So let's say you do not want Xbox Game Pass and you maybe only want to play Warzone, Fortnite, Apex Legends or Rocket League with your friends. Well the Series S is an even better proposition for you now as with the low price of the console you also do not need to pay for Xbox Live Gold any longer to play online multiplayer with your friends on any free to play games which I think is just amazing and that means you could spend £250 or $300 for your Xbox Series S download the free to play games and not need to spend another penny. So if you're sold on Xbox Series S already, why not pick one up using my affiliate link which are in the description and the top comment to get a great deal and support the channel at the same time. There are some negatives with the Xbox Series S to keep its price down versus the competition. While it's still a great value next gen console, it does come with a few compromises which we alluded to earlier on. Firstly and the most annoying is definitely the small storage space. You get 512GB of storage for your games, however only 364GB is usable to store games on, which can fill up quickly. Especially if you play games like Warzone which take up lots of storage. Any Warzone players out there you'll know exactly what I mean. You can buy additional storage which can be expensive depending on what games you want to play on that storage type. I'll leave a card to pop up in the top right hand corner of the screen to my video where I cover off the storage options for the Series S. The Series S is not the most powerful console, the Series X and PlayStation 5 are far more powerful and they should be given how much more expensive they are. I really think the Series S needs the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution to really hit the 1440p resolutions and frames per second it's hoping to hit. A lot of games can struggle to hit 1440p target resolution and may output at 1080p instead which may disappoint some gamers. A lot of this comes down to how well the developers can optimise the games for this system which should improve over time as developers get more comfortable with the Xbox Series S. One important thing to keep in mind if you're upgrading from an Xbox One console to the Xbox Series S and you have lots of physical games you like to play or lots of Blu-rays you like to watch on your Xbox system is the Xbox Series S is an all digital system. There is no disk drive on the Xbox Series S at all, so you will not be able to use your physical games or any physical movie media like Blu-rays or DVDs. Any games you want to play on this, you will need to download from the Xbox Store or from a service like Game Pass. The Xbox Series S is definitely worth buying despite not being as powerful as the Series X or the PlayStation 5, it is a capable machine which gets you into next gen gaming for a low entry fee. I use my Xbox Series S nearly every day, I've used it on multiple live streams and I think it's absolutely fantastic. The Xbox Series S is the perfect console for those of you who are not bothered about having the most powerful console available but want to jump into some next gen gaming without spending a lot of money. If you are looking for something a bit different from the Series S, maybe you should check out our video to learn everything you need to know about the new Nintendo Switch OLED model.